minor league baseball now. Let's play ball. Ball four. Take the base. Out. So digging in now, Bobby Witt Jr. He'll lead things off here Ready in the bottom go. half the of the first. Not shortstop. Bobby Witt. Here it comes. Junior. Nope. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty B, we got a couple of teams right now that haven't been playing very good baseball, d -Row. One of these two teams needs to get things turned around and start things off on a good note and win the first game of the series. It just takes one W to put a good taste in your mouth. I'm, I'm telling you, I know both teams come in on a losing streak, but someone finds a gap, someone puts their best foot forward and has a nice outing on the mound. This can turn around the super quick baseman. with a moment now hey. let's have a look at the home team starting lineup Dero what's your take as they look to end their losing streak Maddie this lineup screams it needs an overhaul when you're last in the league and on base percentage you're not doing a lot of things very well you're not giving quality at bats you're not being professional at the plate and forcing the opposition to be on their heels at all empty base pass consistently lead to a lot of zeros on the scoreboard Oh, not two cheated on that one. It's two and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. My, my, Ornelas my. is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Nick Martini the next to hit. No that one aboard fun. for him, and no two gone here in the first. Nick Martini. And he gets ahead 0-1. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. And he falls behind 0-2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed oh, stuff. Outside. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Ready to deliver the 1-2. and two. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. We've played an inning, still nothing-nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the Leading DH, Sully Matias. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Oh nope, Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball, 1-1. One and one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's 2-1. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Here it comes. And, oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there, one away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last that, one. Not yeah. sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Base. Gabriel Cancel comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Now here's the pitch. Count now a ball and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Valera takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Jonathan Shatner. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. The wind up and the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing.
now batting Jason Yamada. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Jason, Yamada. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And now pitch on the way. Too high, and it's 3-0. and well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Batting eight. The catcher. Now to the... Schoen. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. And he chased it in the dirt. Tachiki goes to get it. The throw to first is in time, one down. Good pitch there, and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. The third baseman. Humberto Arteaga stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. The 0-1 delivery. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Three, three, three. Moore will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Bobby Witt Jr. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bobby. Ball one. Junior. Belted high in the air out to left. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. Hey, no runner, no runner. Eat it, eat he pulls it. into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. The nice job base. there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Two out here and a runner at second. And he looks at a ball, one and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Still even at two and two. Hey, gotta hold him right here. Two and two, the pitch. Liner towards second. That's two, in two, there. Two. Base hit. He'll get it into second. The throw, and he's tagged out at second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Way Digging go. in is the field. outfielder, Nick Martini. No and that's in there for strike one. Martini. And no outs now. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moore will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Sully Matias comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball 1. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Striding into the box, Gabriel now Cancel. Flied out in his first at bat, Gabriel. so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder That's giving ball chase. Ball. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Let's 
Stepping into the box, Jonathan Shatner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch is a splitter for a called strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. I got it, I got it. Cordero has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Digging in now, Jason Yamada. He drew a walk his first time up. Jason Yamada. And the pitch. Ball one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Count even now at one and one. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Ball oh, two. One out, one out. And he misses and this one goal. inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Woody Shearn, the number eight hitter here, ball waits four, on deck. Out. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Now so striding in, Woody, Woody. Shearn. Here. First nope. offering to him stays upstairs. Ball it's ball a ball and no strikes. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some first base. In hey. the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Nope. And here's a fastball inside as the count two moves ball. to 2-0 and oh now. Let's pick your poison in this situation right here. I know that runner on first nope. is certainly That's affecting his mechanics, but now you're down 2-0, and you've got to find a way to get back in the strike zone. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. And he misses nope. again, ball, ball four. four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Into the box now, Humberto Arteaga. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Hey, with that base hit right now, the lead's 3-0. And the way their pitcher is going, d -Row, that might hold up in this one. Yeah, and you're well aware of it, Dan, as an yeah, offense, just trying to put those extra job. runs across Bobby. the board. You can take a look at the guy on the slab, yeah. towing the slab. He's on fire right now. Yeah. Ornelas is there, two down. Ready for another shot now. Nick yeah, Prado, man. a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Right Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. The ball. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. One and one the count now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line drive to center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. One more look at the full extension catch that strands two men on the base paths. Back with more here on a Tuesday night. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize Our everybody the rest of the series. The this Warriors evening's game ball. comes to an five end. 5-4, the final tally. The Naturals came through late, taking the lead in the...
pitching staff is pressed to step up their game. From the ranks of hundreds of minor league prospects, the next generation of MLB superstars will eventually emerge. Determining which prospects will be those superstars is big business. And getting in on the ground floor is smart business. This prospect has become the object of a notable sports management company's attention. However impressive an agent's qualifications may be, the trading in of a longtime trusted mentor for a corporate wheeler dealer can feel like a scary step. But a fledgling must leave the nest, for a big world awaits. A manager checks in with his ball club.
Minor League Baseball is live. Coming to the plate now, Mel Hackett. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The left fielder. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous 10 games. Yeah, Maddie, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game, and they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Rodriguez is over and he puts it away for the first down. Striding forward now is the DH, Bruce Hunter. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in safely. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Hackett leads off first with one away. Oh. Popped up, Matajevic in foul ground. And this will not be caught, it's a foul ball. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Uh, come on now. Throw over to the bag. No, he's safe. Runners on first with one down. Fouled off. Two. Hit out towards two, two, second. Two. Reined in. There's Reined one. Out. Relay to first oh. in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Leading off for first Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken up in the zone. Man, no one down here. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Cordero is there, and he'll bring this one in. Digging in, Ryan Ripken, as he'll get his first That's opportunity it. in this one. The first base, number two. And a ball, 1-0. and oh. Ryan. Bases are empty, Ripken. one man out. Hey, let's go right here, huh? This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now in the box, Gordon Beckham. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0-2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping nope. his defense invested. Chance go, to get off the field ball, super quick. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Ball, that and a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And he lays off, so it's full three now, two. three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And That's that one's ball. taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Batting, seven. The right field. First pitch of the at right bat field. on its way. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, come on now. 
He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees. 1-1. One one. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. The 2-1. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors. So striding forward now, Sam Huff, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. A ball and a strike. Hey, nobody out now. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Settling in now, Brendan Davis. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Mm, a little oh, tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East-West we came up playing. Ball two. And there's ball two now. The count. Two. Here we go. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Now here it comes. Count remains two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. Full count now, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind you. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Striding in once again, Mel Hackett. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed, strike one. One and two. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat hit. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied. All set for the start of the fourth. And into bed next will be Isaiah kiner Faldefa. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moore comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now with the plate, Bruce Hunter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2. The numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate, you can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. So now to the plate, Andretti Cordero comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the pitch. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Three. 
so coming to the plate, hey, Ryan Ripken. He flew out in his last at bat. Number 22. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. On the ground to the left side. Scooped up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now at the plate, Gordon Beckham. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Gordon. Here it comes. Too high. One and oh. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. One out, nobody on. Skied into very shallow right. Ornelas will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again, Trenton Brooks. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Sam Huff is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Play ball. Out. Ball four. Take the out. At the plate, Brendan Davis. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, Brent only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. All one. The 1-0. -oh. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Now batting. Left Stepping in now, Mel Hackett. Hey, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's one for two in this one. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. A 1-1. Fouled away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Hey, we got no out. The 1-1 home. Straight up, straight Swing, up. and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. And no one will get this one. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. Two, two, on the two. ground to second base. This could be two. That's One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Ready once again, Bruce Hunter, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Here's a moment where you gotta be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught, as that'll be an infield single. Here we go, guys. The center fielder, number four. Here's a look Let's over to first. first. Just keeping him close. Standing in now, Andretti Cordero. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Are you? Are you? And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So one run on three hits. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Rough Riders. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left eight men on deck. A first conversation with a new representative can be exhilarating to a young player. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client, confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities.
A pitcher who's been inefficient from the stretch of late is given a coach up. The game's future star. Play ball. Ow. Ow. In now, Jeremy Pena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the rock down, not your style. In there, Jeremy. no balls and a strike. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In two, fact, two. they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamental. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Batting third. The third base At base. the plate, Peter yeah. McNeil. He'll swing McNeil. and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Outside for a ball, one and one. And that misses, two and one. He lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball in play hard. Two balls and two strikes now. So a full okay. count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of two, overdid two, it. Two. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. On to first, a double play. He's set that and the cool. pitch. The high and deep down the left field Boy. line. And that will end up a foul ball. Hey, two way now. He sent the 0-1. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Tachiki gathers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on... Into the box, Edwin Diaz. He's set to lead off the home half the of the second. Edward. Hit in the air down the right field line. Diaz. But this will land out there just foul. All right, here we go now. A swinging no strike, and now strikes. it's 0-2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That, that, that pitch looks so inviting ball, to ball, hit, but strike. it's awfully tough to put in play. One ball, no strikes to count. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Bad a check on first, and he's back in standing. In now, Cooper Goldby. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Still without a home run, nine driven in. A ball and a strike now. And it's one and two.
And here's a ball hit in the air. Just foul. That ball foul. The one-two right, right, pitch. He's, he's running. Pitch is high. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your four, opponents. Four, four. Stolen. This ball's down, runner, and that could runner, bring in a run. Throw. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right Bad there. Hit. Looked like the guy on no second had to respect it and freeze yeah, a little bit. They had I'll to freeze there for a second Count to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Just a tick a behind for a strike. A ball and two strikes. The Big pitch coming two. up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The one-two is in there. A called strike three. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. To the plate now, Rory Ramey. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And it's fouled away. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hard hit ball to short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors. In Leading off the inning, Jeremy Pena, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And that's taken for strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. The pitch. Hit softly on the ground to third. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging in, Chase Calabwig, a base now hit in his first trip. The center fielder. There's a good fastball on the outside corner Calabwig. as he'll take a look at strike one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. Calabwig. 23 years old, starts the day as the third leading vote getter among center fielders in all star balloting, so he's still got a good chance to make the team, but certainly not a sure thing at this point. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. He takes strike three called on the fastball, couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batter. Striding Third in, baseman. Peter McNeil, Peter. 0 for 1 here in the early McNeil. going. And he takes ball one. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Nope, outside. Trace Lair would be next. Ah. And he gets the call there, 3 and 1. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Full count, 3-2. and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the top of inning number four. Amarillo out in front, one to nothing. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. A fastball here as he'll take a look hey, at ball one. One and oh. Ah. And that catches the outside edge. One and one. one. The pitch. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. 
pulled toward right center field. Two, two, two. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. So he's head first into third as he laid it all on the line on that one. Yeah, he took a pretty big risk going for the triple, no, Matt, but you've got to love the aggressiveness and the willingness to get dirty and beat the throw to third. Man, that was a fun play to watch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Nope, Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. 3-0 to him now. Out now. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah. And that's finally over for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Three balls, and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners at the corners now with still nobody out. Luis Barrera is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The 1-1 home. With two strikes now, the runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout? Are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. He'll try again, 1-2. Fastball called, strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Stepping up now, Cooper Goldby, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 misses, ball two. No strike. Hey, we got one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And to score from third, the tying run. So we're back to even now after the sack fly. And next it'll be the outfielder, Phil Acevedo. And he fouls this one off. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. grounder down the line at third but a foul ball and the count holds it 0 and 2 and he misses there 1 and 2 if I'm in the box you take a step out right here take a deep breath after that high fastball you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt and the throw is in time it's a strikeout and the play at first goes 2 to 3 for good measure as the inning Leading off the inning, Rory Ramey, and they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one, no strike. The one and no delivery. Left side, fielded cleanly, and there's one away. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, now Jeremy Pena. He's one for two in the ball game. Fouled off. Pena. Bases are empty, one man out. One now. Cue shot here out towards short, and that'll be the second out. Digging in once again, Chase Calabwig. A hit in two tries so far. And he throws the oh, fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh, Two-out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two-hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. This is in the air to left. Moore will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ladies Jimmy Yacobonis enters to do the please. pitching in the bottom now of the sixth. Pitch. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. 
take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Amarillo Sod Poodles used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Hector Ross with his fourth win this season. Gerardo Reyes records the save his 13th of the year.